Hi, I'm Josh Jenkins. I'm the R&D manager at Scientific Anglers, and I'm gonna go over some of the finer points of our welded loops. Most of our fly lines now come with welded loops, and they're a great tool for the angler, especially if you're constantly swapping leaders, or if you wanna get some great longevity out of a leader in your fly line, but they're not indestructible, and there's a few ways that you're guaranteed to destroy them if they're not used properly. The best thing you can do to ensure a long life of your welded loop is to have a proper connection with your leader. And the best way to do that is to use a loop-to-loop -loop or a handshake loop knot. Basically, you're gonna use the perfection loop that probably comes on your leader and do a loop-to-loop -loop connection with your fly line. And this is gonna ensure that it pulls evenly on the standing leg and the tag end of your welded loop. You never want to knot your leader directly to the loop of the fly line. In this case, I've got a clinch knot, but an overhand knot or something else like that would do the same thing. By knotting directly to the loop of the fly line, you're gonna pull more on the tag end of that loop, and it'll have a tendency to de-weld that loop a lot quicker than if you used a proper handshake loop like this. Your casting style can also have adverse effects on your welded loop on the end of your line. You wanna make sure you're not casting over aggressively or too snappy. You also wanna make sure you never ever cast your fly line without a leader. At the end of a loop, a fly line is essentially going from hundreds of miles an hour to zero, and that's a tremendous amount of force. So think of your leader as sort of a sacrificial piece that keeps your fly line loop from breaking out. Another thing to avoid in relation to your welded loop is casting on dry land. Basically, casting without water tension allows that line to over accelerate and can lead to snappy casting. If you need to practice on dry land, whether you're learning to cast or you want to get more accurate or whatever it may be, it's best to have a dedicated fly line just for that and to keep your fishing line separate. That's why most shops have dedicated lines for casting out on the asphalt if you wanna try a new rod or something like that. And it's also gonna keep your fishing line cleaner and allow it to perform better when you need it to. So use these few tips next time you're on the water to ensure that you get the most life out of your investment in your fly line.